Good morning, folks. We've got just a couple space weather notes. We've got that cold wave enveloping the United States and two articles to close out today. Starting with our star, we once again have little in the way of flaring or eruptions. We will be doing a video soon on when we expect those to return in a big way. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet, leaving focus on the southern coronal hole. This could amplify geospace conditions this weekend after it faces Earth tomorrow. While we are between expected solar upticks, still going to be focused on the new sunspot group forming ahead of the coronal hole. Little guys born before our eyes and developing quickly this morning. Now, on to the weather. We've already seen records broken for snow and cold in this event, and it's got some juice left in it. The current cold intrusion from the north is wind-driven as Arctic air is pouring down through the continent, largely due to a polar vortex configuration that allows that northern air to leak down through a favorable pressure cell setup. Bundle up as it will remain cold today. Don't let the title of this one fool you. This is a confident stamp on the previously espoused hypothesis that the solar storms that occurred during the Starlink satellite loss earlier this year were in fact the cause of those issues. The density spike in the upper reach of the atmosphere acted like a hand grabbing those launched craft and preventing them from getting into orbit, instead re-entering the atmosphere and burning up. Top story today is a fantastic thesis with a double implication on the Earth disaster cycles. First, it's another good nod to the volcanic upticks during the millennial scale events. These would be the Dansgaard Oshkar events on the approximately 1500 year cycle. Those who have our latest book likely remember this one. Confirmed here, and also the phenomenal influence of volcanic events at the Younger Dryas, the disaster 12,000 years ago. Here, said to be a major triggering. This is key because, remember, we had volcanoes, impactors, and a geomagnetic excursion at that time, not to mention Nova-level isotopes embedded in the bones of the animals found in the surge deposits. Indeed, we see several of the major factors at every 12,000-year event, and the only way to get them all at once, over and over again on a cycle, is the systematic shift of the cycle and a solar instigator, the Great Flash. Last note here, on Saturday, Kat will be at the Asian Heritage Center reading her children's books. The Kira and Lulu series is a great way to ease our little ones into fun space science. All proceeds will be going to charity. Head out and see her, and you can get her books and our disaster books and more at the link below the video in the description box. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.